Summer traditions and memories are all a part of going to the lake. But instead of a lake this week, we are going to the river. Yeah, but it really doesn't matter on a hot day like this, does it? Any cool body of water will do. Frank and Amelia are out there right now and uh, cooling off at all out there, guys? Uh, not, not, not really. really. But they do no. have a great lake, and we'll show you that at 10, by the way. It oh, is, yeah, that's a lot of fun. And it is fun. cool, yeah. 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 Well, you know, uh, communities like Cannon Falls, as we told you earlier, they're just filled with good stories, and there's a place here in town that is keeping history alive. Yeah, a really rich history. It is the uh, Cannon Falls Area Historical Museum, and we learned about everything from just a devastating fire that this community experienced all the way to an oversized pair of overalls. This limestone building started out as the Cannon Falls Fire Hall, established in 1888. The date is significant. Just a year before, a raging fire destroyed a big part of downtown. It started in one of the wooden, wooden buildings and soon hopped to the next and the next. Museum director Zachary Wareham says several groups battled the flames. They saved the hotel, the school, and the flour mill, and they rebuilt the rest. Within a year, they had already rebuilt most of the downtown district. They got really serious about their fire department and they built this uh, building, which is now the museum. President Barack Obama kicked off his campaign for a second term in Cannon Falls in 2011. He was the second U.S. president to visit here. In 1928, President Calvin Coolidge, known as Silent Cal, came to Cannon Falls to dedicate a monument to local Civil War hero, Colonel William Colville. President, in a few words, uh, silent Cal, uh, and yet for a guy, a few words, he delivered a long speech here on, uh, you know, the, the virtues of, of the Minnesota First and, uh, and Colonel Colville and the bravery of those men for the, you know, helping to save the Union. Not all history is serious. Take the overall parties held in the late 1930s, which featured this giant pair of Lee dungarees. It was a way for local businessmen to honor local farmers. They uh, would get together and pool their resources and buy a whole bunch of tobacco, corn cob pipes, and cigars and cigarettes and give them away to all the farmers. And they purchased a giant pair of overalls that they would hang between the buildings downtown. How about that? And uh, Zachary told us that, yeah, the, the businessmen would actually uh, wear the overalls instead of wearing their Sunday finest stuff to kind of be uh, in respect and, and honor the farmers. Right, yeah. exactly, which and, makes a lot of sense. You know, and if they didn't wear their overalls, the justice of the peace would actually find them a penny. So, you know, back in the 1930s, that's pretty steep. Wear your overalls. Wear your there's, overalls. There's the, the lesson. Not on a day like today, though. Do not wear your overalls uh, on no. a day like today. Or you can go like, uh, you know, when you just wear the overalls and nothing else. You know? <laughs> don't do that Cut either. Cut off overalls. I don't want you to do that I either. Think, I uh, think so. Coming up at 10, though, we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be fantastic. I think we would get signed. Uh, uh, yeah, the FCC would come down with a fine on that one. I don't think that. I don't. No, no, no. Uh, coming up at ten, though, we are going to show you a family's boat that is a real beast. Yeah, a boat is not a significant enough yeah. word for you. Wait till you see this. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. How about you? Yeah, and, and what a great family too. It was a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, we'll take you out on the lake and show you that, cool. and uh, much more from uh, Cannon Falls. It a seemed lovely charming place to be. Couldn't it, have picked a better spot. It really spot. is. It absolutely looks that way. It seemed like, Frank, you were probably uh, alluding to the fact you were going to throw Amelia in the river uh, at the beginning of the show. Is that is that going to happen? <laughs> to cool off? Stick around. That's the beauty of the show. Stick around. You, you never, never know. know. You never now, know what happens. Please, will you quit giving him ideas? <laughs> <Yeah>. Seriously. <laughs> what are you sorry. doing? Just give you him know to a nice pair much. of overalls. It's fine. And <laughs> dry off. Okay. Maybe they can pick up some overalls for a uh, winter. There you go. I'm going out right now. We'll see you at 10, guys. Thank you.